Now, adding video to your site uh, can be done one of several different ways, but the way we're going to show you and encourage you to use is uh, through a plugin called WordTube. And you'll see it over here under Media. Um, once you have WordTube, uh, let me show you. Well, you know what? If you're watching this video, uh, which most of you are, Uh, you will see uh, something like this. And uh, these items here are uh, is created by, it's managed by uh, WordTube. And uh, we've got the, the video here um, and uh, you know playlist over here by which we can select uh, different videos. All right. So Next we're going to WordTube makes it extremely uh, well, word term is, is just powerful. Uh, so what we're going to uh, do is show you how to manage a, uh, a gallery, a, a video gallery, if you will, um, like this by um, using this plugin. Uh, so let's go back to the back end of the dashboard. And we'll see here that we have, um, when we click WordTube, uh, these five videos uploaded at this point in time, and um, the this is powerful. Uh, WordTube is so powerful because it creates a playlist for you, and uh, in addition to the playlist, it also allows you to uh, choose specific groups of videos, form a playlist, and display those on specific pages, or just display one video on one specific page. Uh, so it's really powerful uh, and very flexible um, to, uh, to do what you need it to do. But uh, so I've already gone through and uh, created a video um, all of myself on my you know computer, the built-in camera, etc. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through uploading a video and uh, then we'll show you how to, uh, to work that in here. Um, so let's insert new media file. And again, this is from media, WordTube, uh, and the new media file. Um, title, and I'm just going to title this uh, something uh, simple that I can remember. Um, and creator is me, um, and this is just a test. Um, select a media file. Now we can browse. Well, first of all, um, if we have a unique... Um, or a URL for a, a video, um, such as if you've uploaded your video to YouTube, uh, you can upload the, or add the link here, and uh, and it will pull in the video from YouTube when the page loads. Um, and uh, but if we haven't uploaded that to YouTube, or if we would just rather do it this way, um, that's fine too. Um, we will browse. And we'll find this video that we have so eloquently put together. Um, and there's my mug. Uh, we're going to click open. And notice here that the, uh, the player will handle MP3, which is just audio, uh, FLV, which is flash, uh, SWIFT, uh, JPEG even, PNG, or GIF. Um, we're going to add that media file and it's uploaded. Now at this point we will see this test video and uh, it did not create a thumbnail. Sometimes it will. Sometimes uh, you need to uh, upload your own thumbnail. But if we click play This is Rob, and this is a test video. That was me, oh, and we don't want to hear that again. Um, that was me, and that was a test video. Um, that is a preview of what uh, can be shown on the real site. Now, if we wanted to, we could add this test video uh, to other playlists. Um, and to work with playlists, we would go down here, create a playlist, 
and uh, but uh, we can add that to specific playlists. Now the edit uh, screen, you'll see a few more options, um, and one of those options is here: select playlist. Now we could add this one video to multiple playlists, um, and that would be fine. Um, uh, but uh, we did not add that. Uh, let's see if we add that to the main playlist. We would then see this scroll bar appear. We can scroll down and. This is Rob, and this is a test video. That yet again. Uh, thank you. Um, we have a couple more options. We can start this file automatically as soon as the page loads. Uh, disable ads, that's an advanced function and we don't really have to talk about it at this point. But if we wanted to display this on a specific page on our site, we could copy this media ID here and place that in page content. Um, page content being, oops, uh, let's open a new page real quick. We went to pages and added this on, let's say, the home page. We took this code. and added it then when somebody goes to the home page of the member site you'll see this video is here now if we selected start file automatically this is Rob, this, this is a test video thank you um, and we go to the home page of the member site. This yeah, is Rob. I got it. This is a test video. Um, thank you. Uh, you're very kind. But that uh, sums up how to uh, work with uh, WordTube uh, on the pages. There are some more settings, customization under uh, settings. and then go to WordTube and uh, you may be able to uh, you know you can choose uh, the uploads folder uh, but more specifically you can choose uh, such things as do you want the list to play automatically all the way through do you want to resize the thumbnails high quality video enable smoothing um, let's check that uh, enable full screen or do you want people to relieve it uh, there on the on the uh, in the size that you set it, uh, volume buffer length. Um, in other words, uh, load a few seconds of video before you start playing, just in case internet drops for a second. Uh, that way, the video keeps playing. Um, default size, width, and height. This is for the actual video. Uh, you know that uh, that black screen that comes up on the side. I'll show you in a minute um, why that's important. Um, let's update that. All right. Uh, next, playlist. And the playlist is the actual um, area over to the side where we're selecting the video that we want to view. Uh, so this in here would be the actual playlist. Uh, let's see. And playlist size is 300. Uh, default size and this is of the entire media player so we have uh, 700 wide by 300 high 400 wide by 300 high is the actual video and then the other 300 is uh, the the width of the playlist and the playlist will just carry through the entire width of the uh, of that uh, plugin, so it's going to actually 300 by 300, so 300 uh, wide playlist and 400 video equals 700. Um, so that's kind of how that uh, uh, work plays out.
uh, with the sizes. Then we can position the playlist uh, to the right, to the bottom, or over, or no playlist. And uh, that's really all you need um, at this point to work with. Um, if you do want to uninstall the plugin, uh, we can do that through setup. Um, if you'd like the uh, to mess with the layout, uh, you can put the buttons, you know, on the top, or or no buttons at all, um, and uh, play with different background colors. So that's the uh, the you know, the big. Um, the majority of the settings that uh, WordTube will let you uh, work with.